Hey everyone, Jason Barnett here from Fight for the Fatherless in Action. And this morning, a 15-year-old boy was shot on his way to school by another teenager who is now being held in custody on suspicion of attempted murder. Now, the media are saying that this is totally unexpected and a shock, except our campaign, which comprises of families who've lost children to suicide and had children who've been seriously harmed because of bullying and violence in schools, has been warning government and specifically Gavin Williamson that incidents like this are more likely to start happening more regularly after lockdown. Now, although that incident didn't take place in school specifically, it's about the prevalence of violence increasing to extremes among young people and especially school children and the government just not taking that seriously and keeping those issues hidden from the public and from parents. More specifically, just last week, we wrote in our blog about the possibility of whether failing to deal appropriately with a recent case of gun violence in a UK school in Yorkshire could potentially lead to a tragedy if government didn't start taking things more seriously. So let's just hear what the officer had to say at the press conference this afternoon. The victim, who's a 15-year-old boy, sustained very serious injuries and was airlifted to Addenbrooke's hospital, where he's currently receiving urgent medical treatment. Shortly before 11am, a teenager was arrested in Ipswich on suspicion of attempted murder in connection with this incident. And furthermore, it's inevitable that parents across Ipswich will be anxious following this morning's incident. And we're currently working with all our partners and with the schools to ensure that everyone feels safe when they're collecting their children from school this afternoon and in the days ahead. She made the point that, like her, like children here and across the country, the kids have been off school for a long time. She believes in some ways this may be some sort of altercation that has gone wrong, but that's not down for us to speculate, but it gives you a sense there as to as to how she's feeling. Again, it's something we've been talking about with schools and violence, particularly being the potential next care home crisis after lockdown if our government doesn't get a grip. So the following video that I'm urging you to watch evidence is how government is putting every single child in the country at risk because of a failing safeguarding system. Now, as a parent or a carer, that video has been out there a couple of weeks now and I urge you to watch it. It's Almost your duty to watch that so that you have the information to know how the safeguarding system works to make sure you can protect your child. It's no good kind of saying that this only happens in certain areas. As we've seen from this incident, it can happen to any child anywhere. Um, as a campaign, we're doing all that we can to get that information out to you. As I say, it's your duty to at least watch that. So this next clip comes from the video. Um, have a look at it. As I say, the link to the full video is in the comments or the description or the bio, depending on what platform this is on. Um, so check that out, share it, watch it, and let's get this information out there. To everyone else watching, I want to appeal to you all and ask you to consider that the biggest threat to children returning to schools won't be COVID-19, but this system. If evidence was showing that schools were becoming more and more violent before lockdown, and with knowing that thousands of children will be returning to those same environments while coping with grief, fear, anger and potential mental health trauma, just imagine how dangerous things could be. No more children need to die. This system can be fixed. And today, I'm putting the lives of your children in your hands. Right now, I want you to picture them and realise that tragedy could happen to you too. And if it did, how would you feel if you knew you had the information to be able to change that and chose to dismiss it instead?